The thrum of light into the drought in Somalia and people's search for water in the neighboring Kenya have a professor of international relations and strategic studies from the University of Lagos, David Awarawo, who is joining me via Zoom. Thank you so much for joining us on World Now. One point, I mean, actually, 8 million people are affected by the worst drought in over 40 years in Somalia. How do you describe the situation in the country, looking at the fact that this wasn't the first time the, the African country is experiencing this? Thank you very much uh, for having me on the program. Um, how do we describe uh, such a situation? It is dire. It is uh, catastrophic. Uh, it is concerning. Uh, because so many people are affected by the droughts. And uh, the impact is very clear, very visible. Uh, just like you have said, about 8 million people are you know, uh, you know, facing drought, not having enough food to eat. Uh, out of a population of just about 17 million, which means uh, just about half of the uh, country's population uh, faces, uh, you know, food shortage, lack of food, with all the consequences of, uh, of that. Like, like we have heard from uh, one of the commentators that uh, because they don't have enough food, they are not vulnerable, they are susceptible to being recruited by armed gangs in a bid for people to, you know, uh, uh, make a living and uh, uh, take care of themselves. So these are the, you know, ramifying consequences of uh, the drought, which, uh, you know, has affected the country. A country that is already uh, in that straits in, in terms of economic development, arising from the uh, violence that the country has experienced uh, in the last uh, uh, close to 30 years now. So all of these are, you know, uh, 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 negative, you know, uh, issues that affect the country, which uh, the international community needs to, you know, wake up and try to support the country so that uh, the impact of the drought uh, will not uh, create uh, something beyond uh, what the country can, can handle. Yeah, uh, being caught between uh, drought and Shabab militia is never a good experience for you know the Somalis or anyone. Uh, these are they who are at the mercy of nature and terrorism. Do you think the world is watching them unconcerned? Well, the world is doing something um, the World Food Program and some other humanitarian uh, bodies have, uh, you know, in fact, we know about the, the, the extent of the problem because of the, you know, what governmental organizations and the government organizations have done in the country. Uh, and of course, they have also uh, uh, intervened to try to provide food. But how much intervention can you, can you carry out? to feed 8 million people who have been affected by the droughts. So um, the world, yes, the world is doing something. There's something too little, uh, which is why, you know, we are, those who, who understand what is happening there are calling for, you know, more help, more support uh, to be able to assist the country to cope with the hunger that, is, that it faces arising from the droughts. So, but then the, the United Nations says, has said that 1.5 million children under the age of five face acute malnutrition. So without urgent action, 2023 would be worse. So what kind of urgent action would you recommend at this point in time? We understand that the United Nations, along with some other bodies, we, you know, are planning to organize some um, intervention, you know, uh, uh, programs in which uh, well-meaning people around the world will be uh, invited to support one way or the other. Uh, that is a step in the right direction uh, because uh, the, the extent of the drought and the uh, food shortage is such that uh, requires far more involvement than what we have now to be able to assist the country. And uh, it is true, uh, you know, a call for support through organizing such uh, uh, programs where uh, attention, will be, attention of the world will be drawn to what is happening in the country and those who want to help and assist is only through such, uh, you know, uh, multi-track approach, multi-level intervention that uh, something close to what is required will be uh, got for the country. Uh, so uh, right now there is not enough, but creating awareness regarding it and urging the rest of the world to assist is the way to go to be able to assist Somalia.
Mm. So, but then without water, the people and their livestock will continue to die. Uh, is there any other ways to ensure sustainable water supply through artificial means? I'm not sure which uh, water is very close to them that they, they could channel, maybe make a tunnel towards the place where they are. Do you think there is anything that can be done in that regard? Of course there are. There is technology to address uh, water problems. There is no water problem, you know, or water crisis that any part of the world faces now that there is no technology to address. But the problems are three. One, um, timing. It takes time to, you know, put these things in place. The drought in Somalia is already there. And so something urgent is needed. Um, all those long-term uh, uh, interventions, uh, you know, will help Somalia, but something that can be brought to assist them directly now is what is required. And then second, of course, as you have, as you have seen, uh, they don't have enough. There is a need for the world to do a whole lot more to assist them. And then third, uh, who to organize? We know that Somalia has its internal problems. Uh, the government has not been stable. Just like you said, Al-Shabaab is there causing trouble. In fact, the problem has been exacerbated by the terrorism of Al-Shabaab and the rest. So all of these are challenges. So in the long term, yeah, of course, there's technology to you know, uh, divert water here and there to be able to assist Somalia. Mm -hmm. But what Somalia, why that is going on, Somalia also needs immediate intervention. Water has to come from somewhere you know, to assist them directly now, where efforts are being made to, to assist them long term moving forward. Well then, uh, only God knows how the whole thing will, will end for the people of um, Somalia, uh, especially with the emerging climate situation. But then, we have to move on uh, with uh, some other issues. Professor of International Relations and Strategic Studies from the University of Lagos, David Awarawo, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for having me on the program.